What's up, YouTube? This is going to be a guide on how to use Iron Hands in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing some competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's an Iron Hands set you like or is using well for you, or maybe you didn't see it here, leave below in the comment section of the video and let's get into it. So, Iron Hands has got a phenomenal amount of health and attack and its defense is pretty good too so probably one of the most optimal sets that will be used on i'd say will be a choice band set so we've got the moves here wild charge with 90 base power we've got ice punch there to cover any of its uh weaknesses like flying type pokemon ground type pokemon stuff like that uh you can hit grass types too dragon types lots of cool stuff there uh i've also got close combat on there as its most you know powerful uh physical attacking move and i've also got earthquake there as well to hit fire types as well as rock types you know other types that like poison which could swap into fighting type moves too so pretty good all-round sort of uh, coverage there for a choice band of physical set. Uh, the EVs, I've put these as max health and max attack. It's got a lot of attack and it's got a lot of health, so you might as well put both of them in there. And the last little bit I put in defense. Now, if you do want to give this a little bit more bulk, you can in the defensive side. You could uh, come back on the EVs a little bit in, in maybe in its healthier, uh, depending on what you want to do. You could give a little bit more defense, but I sort of like uh, having uh, full, uh, full EVs in health there just to give it all round bulk because its special defense isn't really all that good so that's probably the most optimal set that uh, it uses another one here i've got that's pretty good a uh, little bit more gimmicky though because you do have to set it up um we've got a belly a belly drum and a, a sword dance normally said dragon dance there so a sword dance uh set so let's go over the belly drum first and then i'll go over the sword dance so with belly drum the biggest risk of using belly drum is you've got to give up half your health right now, normally you can actually swap it in at the right time on a particular Pokemon. Say you've got a advantage against that Pokemon, and you're pretty sure you're going to get a swap, or a Pokemon that has virtually no uh, offensive presence about it at all. Now, I've given it Belly Drum. Obviously, we've got Citrus Berry as the item. I've got Drain Punch here over uh, Close Combat because we want to get some of the health back. And Drain Punch is still very, very powerful on this Pokemon, especially after a Belly Drum with plus six and attack. I've given it Thunder Punch too. So I haven't given it any of its uh, like recall moves like Wild Charge. You know, Close Combat sort of drops your defense and special defense too. So we don't really want that on a Belly Drum set. We want to be getting health back and uh, you know retaining as much health as possible. The other move I gave it there was uh, Ice Punch just for some coverage purposes for like flying type Pokemon and ground type Pokemon and you know, uh, those, those sort of things like that. So all of the punching moves basically, the EV spread is virtually exactly the same as the Choice Band one. I've given it max health and max attack and you know, at half health your uh, Citrus Berry is going to activate there after using Belly Drum and you know, heal you up there. So that's pretty nice and virtually the opponent is going to nearly have to one shot you if you're able to get that Drain Punch uh, you know, recovery off there after fainting the initial Pokemon. So you know, it's a very, very scary Pokemon. Drain Punch is going to be one-shotting most things. Obviously, they don't resist it. And the weakness virtually is if you're not using Drain Punch and you've got to go for Thunder Punch, you kind of have to rely on its speed, which its speed is very, very bad. So it can be worn down because you don't really have any uh, priority moves. The best move, basically, you want to be using is Drain Punch because that's going to get your health back. It's going to allow you to live that uh, next attack uh, from the next Pokemon after you faint it. But yes, definitely a viable set there. For belly drum. Now let's have a look at Sword Dance. Now Sword Dance can play pretty much uh, similar here. You can use Sword Dance and uh, Drain Punch. The thing about Sword Dance over Belly Drum is you don't need to give up all that health. So you could go Sword Dance and then you could go Drain Punch. So you could start getting your health back right away and still have a lot of attack. So it's really up to you what you want to use there. Um, with Citrus Spray, it's not bad. Um, you could actually swap this up for leftovers too. That wouldn't be bad uh, too. Or you could even go like Lumberry too. You know, that could be a very handy item. Uh, you, know, you don't want to get burned. So that's uh, be a good item for the Sword Dance set. Citrus Berry, leftovers. Anything along those lines are going to work very, very well on a, a like a physical set. So we've done a Choice Band set. We've done a Belly Drum set. We've done a Sword Dance set. They're probably more of the common sets you're going to see. Another one that could be uh, uh, quite common because it's not too bad is a Salt Vest set. So, so as you can see, 
with Iron Hands. Its uh, special defense is a little bit lacking, but once you give it a Assault Vest as the item, it is very, very bulky all round. So once again, we're going with a uh, Max Health and Max Attack spread here, and we're going to just be using a little bit different setup. We've got Fake Out, so that is a priority move that it does get, which is nice. So you, you can bring it in there and finish off Pokemon on low health, and you've got similar moves to the uh, Sword Dance Belly Drum set. So we've got Drain Punch, Ice Punch, and Thunder Punch. So that's another way of actually using... Uh, 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 iron Hands there, and you've got a lot more bulk too on the special side, so someone can't just come and go, oh, I'll just go for a Moon Blast and, you know, one-shot you. That's not going to happen, because you're going to be able to leave those attacks there, and, you know, dish out some pretty good damage. Now, as for Terra Typing for all these ones, I've given them Electric. I feel like Electric is the best uh, Terra Type on these, because simply you just get rid of all the weaknesses except for one, which is Ground, and as you've noticed, on all these sets, I am carrying Ice Punch, so... I think that's the best uh, best Terra there. There are a couple of other ones you could use. I could see... I'm trying to think. Uh, maybe Terra Steel could work uh, too to get around that uh, Fairy-type weakness. Um, that would probably be another one. I, I don't really think there's... I mean, you got Terra Fighting too. That could, that could also work. But when you go Terra Fighting, uh, you still are going to be weak to like Flying Types and uh, Fairy Types too. So you'd only really be going Terra Fighting if you just want more power, you know. It's already got a lot of power already, so... I don't know, I'd be opting for a type that's, uh, you know, pure electric. That way, you're not going to be outspeeding anything, so you're going to have to take a fairy move and a flying move. So that way, with electric, at least the, you know, at least they're not going to be super effective. So that's probably what I would run for a Terra type there. Let me know about the Terra types. If you use another Terra type that works well, and uh, does it get around the weaknesses? Does it not? Uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at the next one. So I noticed it actually had Whirlwind, which is quite interesting. So, um... Actually, like, Harry armor has got Whirlwind as well, so very similar there. So, this is going to work well with any sort of entry hazard Pokemon, like Spikes, Toxic Spikes, uh, Stealth Rock, all those sort of things, like Glimora, you know? So, Glimora will work uh, in any sort of Pokemon like that. So, this is, like, all based around Whirlwinding the opponent out there and getting health back, Drain Punch, and healing yourself off of rest and using one of the other moves there. So... This is going to be just like a super, super tanky set. I've built this one uh, special defensive, actually. And I've done Impish Nature there just to give it a little bit of all-rounded uh, bulk there. And it's special defense and it's defense. So without uh, like an item like Assault Vest, it's you know, it's kind of bad on the special side. So I've given it all the investment there. Uh, for argument's sake, you could do this as well. Uh, we could go even more like sort of bolt there. So that would even be like... Probably better on the special side, so you're sort of equal all round. And you don't really have to worry about speed, because you're not really going to be going first using, like, Whirlwind and such like that. And Drain Punch is generally better if you're going second, because normally by then you've already taken some damage, and Drain Punch is going to heal you, rather than going first and not healing anything, right? Yeah, so that's uh, another option you could run for a really, really bulky uh, support for just entry hazards and stuff like that. This would be a big pain to actually get around this. Now, I've given this terrifying. Uh, you could go Terra Fighting, you could go Terra Electric. I mean, Terra Electric would probably be better on this set, because that way you've only got, like, one weakness, you know, so... Yeah, so an interesting set here. Very annoying to take out, for sure. Now, as for item options, I've got leftovers on this one. Look, you could, um, you could go Rocky Helmet. That would work really well, too, uh, on this sort of set. Um, any, even red, red card wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be bad, either, as an initial sort of swap. Um, that could, that could work, um... This is the try to think some other things. Yeah, those sort of items are probably the best. I, I wouldn't recommend too many other ones. They'll be doing the you know the best sort of job there. And that's pretty much it for the stealth rock spikes entry hazard support set. And yeah, it's it's got the bulk for it. Like the, the greatest thing about uh this Pokemon is its uh is its health attack, you know, and its defense is pretty good too. So let's have a look at some more uh meme style sets. Now I like to cover all the competitive sort of ones and you know the sort of anti-competitive ones and now we've got some meme sets. So when you have a look at Iron Hand's special attack, it is absolutely trash, which is exactly why I wanted to see if I could make a, uh, a special move set out of it. So, we've got the uh, electric terrain here. We've got the quark drive. So, quark drive, unfortunately, is going to be, uh, it's going to boost its matter of fact. I'm just going to, even with, unfortunately, even with this in defense. So, I'm going to adjust this a little bit. So, with Quark Drive, we want to get a boost in a beneficial stat here. At the moment, it's boosting attack. So, I'm just going to quickly uh, change this one around. So, I do want to boost its um, special attack, right? 
I definitely want to boost it up. But yeah, as I'm doing this, I'll just explain the set. So this is a Focus Blast Thunder Focus Energy set. So it's best smooth and powerful moves that it gets on the special side are Focus Blast and Thunder, right? Now, with Electric Train, that's going to be hitting a lot harder. Well, a bit harder. It's not the greatest Pokemon special attack in the world. but And it's also going to be doing a critical hit too, which is nice. With the Focus Energy and Scope Lens, it's going to be a 100% crit chance. So that's going to be like really, really good. The EV spread I've given it is max self and I've given it max a uh, max special attack. Now, I'm just changing over modest because I actually want to drop I want to drop its attack, so... I actually, I don't even think I can drop its attack even further than that. So I'm going to have to actually adjust its uh, health a little bit. So with its health here, we're going to adjust that, because this is 253, right? We need to make that, like, even just one more. Okay, we'll give it 257, all right? So, or whatever adjustment you need there. So with a 20 in defense, that actually gives it a boost in its defense when the... Uh, the quark drive uh, is active. So that'll give it a plus um, 1.3 times in defense. So that'll make it even bulkier. So there you go. Getting around its ginormous attack stat. It's very, very similar to like a uh, beast boost, I guess you could say. But yes, a very, very fun special attacking one. That's the give it a try, people. Um, now, you can, obviously, you could have another Pokemon that sets up Electric Train too. Then you can swap it in. But, you know, you could set it up yourself. It's a, it's a fair bit of setup, though, on a, a meme set. So maybe you want to split that roll up onto another Pokemon. So then you could... You only have to go focus energy then. All right. Um, we got another set here. So we got a... I call this one body charge because we're using a body press and we're using charge. This is disgustingly bulky. So the item I've given this is Cobra Berry. That's going to power down those super effective flying types. And we've got the EVs, max health and max special defense, careful nature. Now the moves are charge. Now charge is going to give us a plus one in special defense. Don't have to really worry about using electric move there. I'm just using it for the special defense stat. I've got iron defense, which is going to boost its uh, defense by two stages. And I've got rest and I've got body prayer. So there you go. You could change up Cobra Bear to Chester Brute if you wanted to. But I feel like you could even sleep for a couple of turns and still be bulky enough to, uh, you know, come back after that. Especially if you get, like, a couple of them up really, really quickly there. But, yes, that's a uh, that's a bit of an interesting set there. It, it's, I can see it being somewhat viable. So, yeah, you can sort of take your choose there, whether you want to give that one a go. Another one I want to actually um, talk about here is um, Trick Room. So, this Pokemon is going to be really, really good for Trick Room. So, let's go back to the Choice Band set. Um, let's do this. So, if you want to run this in Trick Room, all you just simply got to do here is go Brave Nature, and uh, you want to go for as lower IVs as you can. So, for, ex for just for the purpose of this video, we'll go for uh, zero IVs and speed. There. So that gives it a really, really good like with like base 50 speed. That's really slow. So you're going to be going first a lot of the time, which is going to be great yeah, under Trick Room. Now, if there's any other moves, like, there's not too many other moves you need to, you'd probably need to adjust here. Let me just get rid of Earthquake for a sec. Okay. Now, I'm just thinking, okay, another move you could use here, which I think would be quite good under Trick Room, would be Iron Head, because you know you're going to go first, right? So, that's going to be good against Fairies. It's also going to give you a good chance at uh, hitting those Fairy types with... Um, a steel type move and you can flinch them too so that could that could definitely work you know so just going through a couple more here i mean you got fake out but you don't really need that at all uh yeah there's not too much else you really would actually need there but yep that's what you could use for a uh we'll just like just pretend this is a trick room set and any trick room pokemon uh, let me let me uh, give you an example right here real quick on the spot so we got Trick Room Pokemon. A lot of these are uh, like, okay, this is a good one. So we got a Hatterene here. Hatterene could be a Trick Room Pokemon because, you know, Hatterene is, uh, you know, resisted to, uh, for, you know, obviously your fairy is not going to do too much to it, which is fine. And uh, you've got like ground. So no, there's no like super effective there. So it's going to be able to set that up and then uh, you swap in the Iron Hand. Sometimes I like, you could even, let me just uh, show you this. If you just want like a quick, sort of trick room lead here. See if there's any in the game currently. Okay, we got a few. So we've got like a couple, like another interesting sort of one. I know it is weak to fairy is spirit tomb. So we've got some other other ones here. Let me give a good example. Fluttermane's not that good because it's too fast. But yeah, all you basically all you got to do there is set the trick room up and send it in there. You know, that could be that could be quite nice. So just setting a trick room up and then you could go into, uh, you know, you've got your iron hands there. 
uh, to basically just wreck uh, for like four, or three or four turns, depending on how long you swapped it out and stuff like that. So that could definitely work under the trick room. Uh, I'm just thinking of some other things for doubles. Now this set right here, this actually isn't all that bad for doubles because fake out's quite nice in doubles at the same time. So this vest set or just something like this could work. So fake out's great for doubles there. Uh, you've got thunder punch and ice punch. Now if you want to. If you want a bit more base power, you could always go, oh, well, I'll, you know, I'll change that to close combat, you know. Um, but I, I quite like Drain Punch because after using close combat, you're sort of going to wreck your Assault Vest there. So you want to be able to uh, live a few turns. But uh, if you've got Trick Room, well, then you could go ahead and go you go for a more powerful move there if you know you're going to go first. And, you know, you could change Thunder Punch up to Wild Charge, that, that sort of thing. But that's all up to sort of like your own discretion and that sort of thing. Let me just have a look at some more little options here. As for, um, as for countering this Pokemon, it's pretty easy to counter. So as you can see, the main thing is its speed here. It's never ever going, you're, you're probably always going to be able to outspeed it. The main thing about it is its bulk, right? So always hit it on the special side if you need to. Unless you've got like some crazy boost up there uh, in your attack and stuff like that. Hit it on the special side, so hit it with it. You've got a, uh, probably a good, a good old moon blast would be good there. Uh, a flying type move would be good. Anything along those lines, um, does this outspeed it and you'll wear it down, you know? Um, the, the main thing is if it's got like a. Uh, Probably the biggest problem if it did have like some boosts up there and it kept getting its health back to Drain Punch. That's probably the worst situation you can be in there. But if it doesn't have any boosts up, just wear it down. It's virtually going to wear down. And also any entry hazards and things like that you know, also help taking out the Iron Heads. But uh, any Fairy type Pokemon are going to uh, you know really demolish this. Especially uh, like special attackers, you know. Uh, they're going to absolutely uh, dominate this. Even flying type Pokemon are going to do uh, lots of damage too. Um, let me just think of some examples here. So we've got uh, Fairy. I mean, obviously Fluttermane. Azumarill is going to be pretty good against it too if we can get a Belly Drum up there. Um, Grimstyle is quite good because Grimstyle can come in and uh, set like Reflect and stuff up there. That's going to be very, very annoying for uh, uh, your Iron Hands there. Unless it's got like you know, belly drum and stuff like that. But uh, if it doesn't, it could have like Reflect and Torn and that could, you know, that could quite easily shut it down there. And then it can you know, opt to go for things like Spirit Break or it can go for something like, you know, Parting Shot. You know, that would really shut down uh, this Pokemon here for sure. So just an example. Um, as for some teammates here, I'm just thinking something that will be uh, quite good there. At uh, Let's go for a Steel type Pokemon. So we'll go into some steel types here. So, uh, sort of some examples there. I'm going to say, yeah, Corviknight's going to be quite good. So, Corviknight's quite good here because it can swap into those fairy type moves. Um, you've got that, you know, obviously that ground, uh, you've got that ground there that can resist any ground type moves at all, which is kind of nice to swap into that. So, basically, uh, fairy type Pokemon, you know, that's going to be your main issue. Uh, there's psychic type Pokemon that can swap into there as well. Flying type Pokemon, boom. So, Corviknight is a really, really good partner for this Pokemon. So, you know, definitely, uh, definitely give that one a shot there uh, for sure. It's just, just, I guess it's that steel type Pokemon. Uh, typing helps out a lot too. Also, Gold Dengo isn't, uh, Gold Dengo isn't too bad either. This Corviknight's got like a, probably a little bit more, like obviously it's got a lot of uh, more bulk to it and, and that sort of thing. Scissor's not bad either because um, you could use, uh, to swap the scissor into a fairy type move and proceed to, you know, use a bullet punch or you know, sword, sword dance and set up on it and stuff like that. So that's another option there. There's plenty of options for partners for, uh, you know, Iron Hands. Let's have a, a last little sort of look at its uh, move set again. We like to go over all the uh, move sets and uh, move options that every Pokemon gets, even if they're bad. You know, it's always good to sort of say if, uh, you know, this could have potential and this sort of thing. Um, try to change the background then, obviously. So yeah, um, we've used pretty much everything. It does get Metronome. If you want to make a Metronome team, You've, you've got it. it. It does learn Metro. Yes, so if you want to have a Metro Pokemon, there you go. But uh, yeah, let's have a quick look at its special attack again. This is its special attack. It's very, very barren. So that's why I picked some other moves there. Now, hmm, you got also got Volt Switch on there, which you could add in. Let's go back to its physical moves because we've got a lot here. So it learned some very, very good physical moves. Uh, I, I must say it does learn some really good ones. Uh, it even gets some fixed damage moves like Seismitosh. You could whack that onto that Whirlwind set if you wanted to for some fixed damage or like a bulky set. Uh, that could work. Now, another interesting set you could use. Um, it's probably still going to be outclassed, but we've got Arm Thrust. So Arm Thrust 
we've got here. So if you use that four times, so we've got like, what do we got there? 50, 30, okay. It, it's not, unfortunately, it's not very, the base power of arm thrust isn't great. So I was going to say, actually suggest they load a dice set, but it's not really good. So even after four hits, that's only 60 base power. So yeah, it's not going to be that strong, but if you want a multi-hitting move, you got that, but it's outclassed by like virtually everything. So I, I don't think you're going to give that a try. Hmm, matter of fact here, how about if we can actually make this thing really fast? I'm going to see if I can make like a speedy set here. Just bear with me for a sec. So we've got the move reverse there, which is always good when you're on one health. So it's going to be difficult. Let's give this a shot. So we've got Jolly Nature, which is absolutely terrible. Oh boy, I don't know if I can actually do this. So Quark Drive, yeah, that's going to boost up our attack, which is fine. I don't think there's any way else apart from a Salic Berry. There's going to be able to get this uh, get this Pokemon uh, down to uh, one health and uh, actually give it a speed boost. So, yeah, I think it's Sally Berry is going to be our best option here to try and go for the uh, the speedy Iron Hands. Just checking through here. Well, I mean, we've got Bulldoze, which isn't bad, I guess, but I don't know. I feel like you just want to be one-shotting everything. You don't want to be like wasting time with uh, moves that aren't going to be uh, you know, fainting and stuff like that. So, yeah, you're going to have to use a Salic Berry uh, set here, people, if you want a speedy Iron Hands. This obviously is a meme set. And a Hit Ghost type Pokemon. Well, we've got hardly any super effective options. The only one we've got is Fling. It doesn't get knockoff, which is a bit of a shame there. That's a little bit of a shame. So you'd probably have to use something like, uh, you know, Thunder Punch and that sort of thing. So yeah, you've got Reversal on Thunder Punch. And then you could go, actually, you could go Belly Drum on this, you know. You could go Belly Drum. Uh, to get your health down, obviously, then endure. And then what you can do then is once you've got all this set up, actually before you've got that set up, I'd suggest the Sticky Web Pokemon too. So if you put Sticky Web down the field with any of these Pokemon here, you know, you've got Krikazoo, Masquerade, and Spidops. Put that down the field and when they faint, you could bring this in and go for the Belly Drum, right? And then you could uh, use endure. So say uh, you weren't at like the like a low enough amount of health to get the full base power out of uh, reversal. You just go for endure. And yeah, you've got your Salic Berry boost there at the same time. So you might be able to speak quite a few things then uh, that aren't levitating and flying and that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's a bit of a fun set there. A speedy Iron Hands. Uh, let me know what uh, move set has worked best for you. I'm sure it's going to be like a couple of these first ones here. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. We're almost through the Paradox Pokemon tomorrow. I'm going to finish them off. So we've got like... I think we've got Iron Wings and... Oh, I think there's like one more. I think it's like... Oh, sorry, got Iron Moth, and we've got... Yeah, I think it might just be Iron Moth. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the only one we've got left there. Oh, well, people, that's about it. I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, we'll finish our last Paradox Pokemon tomorrow. Peace out.